You're listening to Tarazi Tuesdays with the Bible is Literature. Hi, this is Father Mark Bulos, and you are listening to Tarazi Tuesdays with the Bible as Literature podcast. This week, Father Paul highlights the folly of all modern hearers of the Bible who, through their theologies, divest and disrobe themselves of the fear of God under cover of their approach to the Bible. There's a word for this. It's called impiety. This leads to the transgression of God's commandment. You shall not rule over him with harshness, but are to fear your God. And again, for the people of Israel are my slaves. They are my slaves whom I brought out from the land of Egypt. I am the Lord your God. I am delighted to introduce Father Paul on the Bible as Literature podcast, Tarazi Tuesdays. And then, 43, it uses that verb that appears early on in Genesis 1. You shall not rule over him with harshness, but shall fear your God. That verb, rule, rada. Is the same as in Genesis 1. And if you read my latest book, you will see this is what man was asked to do. Not to rule over and boss according to his decision. Which ends up by having no more animals or trees on planet Earth, at least in some areas of our planet. And I'm not talking ecology. Ecology is the field of my eldest child, my son. You ask him about that. I'm talking scripture. And the addition of harshness, I discussed it in detail, which shows you that it is not originally part of the rada, which is usually perceived in this way by theology. The man is the boss of creation. No, because Rada means technically to manage according to the rules. But the addition of harshness is very important here. And how do you solve that not by going to spiritual retreats to unharsh yourself, but you shall fear your God. And this is exactly the point at which the people east, west, north, and south dislike me. They don't like to hear that because they don't hear it in theology and they hear scripture through their theology. They hear scripture a la Lutheran and a la Orthodox. Remember at seminary when you were taught this extreme silliness. The Orthodox approach to the Bible. The Orthodox reading of the Bible when neither the word Orthodox nor Lutheran is found in the Bible. So how do you do that? Now, don't throw at me narrative and the development of the language. And I don't want to hear that. I want you to stay with me in the 3rd century BC in Mesopotamia and understand the way the original hearers understood it 
definitely correctly because this is what the words meant. Let me end up by repeating 43. You shall not rada your brother with harshness. Rather, you shall fear your God. And then you can read the rest on your own. And the culmination, the last three verses, let's hear them. As a servant hired year by year shall he be with him. He shall not rule with harshness over him in your sight. And if he is not redeemed by these means, then he shall be released in the year of the Jubilee. He and his children with him. And don't miss the last verse, 55. For to me the people of Israel are servants. Dump the servants. In the Hebrew it's Abadim. Slaves. Abadaihem. They are my slaves. They are not your slaves whom I brought forth out of the land of Egypt. I am the Lord your God. And the Orthodox stun me because uh, they hear it, at least, those who were raised in Greece and in Arab countries, when you come to communion, you are addressed, communion is given, to the slave of God. You hear it in Greek and Arabic which is the same word as the Hebrew, Abd, Abed. But suddenly here in North America, you become a servant of the Lord, someone who offers his services. And that's why the most self-righteous people in the line of communion are the CEOs. And I want him to hear this out of my lips. are the CEOs and their ilk. No. That's why I'm asking everybody either to use the Arabic or the Greek. Let's dumb the English and say it in English, especially to the CEO. The rest you can call them servants. That's fine with me. But if you know that that person is a CEO or COO, or CIO, whatever it is. You say it, as Father Paul taught me, the slave of the Lord is granted communion. But I know from experience that you would never do that. But it is on my podcast and I want it to be heard as such. The Bible as Literature is a production of the Ephesus School Network.